Yeah, I would say our mentality is playing the game like it's any other game and to kind of just leave it out on the court. I mean, at this point, it's like we're competing for a Big Ten championship and um, it's Wisconsin, Nebraska again. So, you know what I mean? So it's just like playing it like it's every other game and sticking to Nebraska volleyball and playing our ways. And I think that'll be helpful. Yeah, I think that something that will really help is playing Nebraska volleyball. We say that a lot, but we train our ways. And sometimes when you play big teams, you can kind of conform to the, the way they play volleyball. And when we play Nebraska volleyball, that's when we play our best. So just really focusing on ourselves, focusing on next ball mentality and not letting them get on runs. Yeah, I think it's prepared us a bunch just because we work really hard on our volleyball skills, but we work, we work really hard on things outside of volleyball and the things that we can control more consistently. And after almost every game, we have meetings talking about how that game went, what we did good, things that we think that could improve and things like that. And I think just everything that we've been through this season, the ups and downs of everything, just leaving it out on the court this weekend, and it's gonna be so much fun. And I think that's honestly what we're looking into is just how much fun it's gonna to be to be able to play two really good teams. I think, Yes and no. I think that you always have room to grow, and I think that our team continues to amaze me every step that we take throughout the season of just how much better we get. I would say halfway through the season, I was like, dang, we're pretty good. Like, we're top notch right here, and we just continue to get better and better. So, yeah, I think that we continue to grow every single day. Yeah. So much growth. Maddie and I came in here four and a half years ago, and I remember being a freshman like it was yesterday. And just her personality too. She will always be goofy Maddie to me. She's my best friend, but she has taken on a leadership role and has gained so much respect from this program and all of our teammates. And she's done that by leading by example on the court, but she's also done that off of the court and all the relationships that she's built. And yeah, I'm really proud of her for that. Yeah, I would say that for me, it's all the relationships that I built as well. I think that's something that's really, really important to me. And I love volleyball, I really do. And I'm, I'm most thankful for it because of all the relationships that it's built me along the way. And yeah, but I know that the relationships I built are gonna last me a lifetime. So it's, it's bittersweet, but. Yeah, I can't lie. I mean, we haven't beat them yet. I have a good feeling about it. And I don't know. If we play our game, we play Nebraska volleyball, we'll be fine. How much better do you see serving, you know, this past few months, I guess? Yeah. And how important is that in this Yeah, it's really important. So we've worked a lot on serving. We work on it every single day at practice. We say it's the most important skill. And we've gotten a lot better at it from the beginning of season. And I think it's gonna be really important because at the end of the day, whoever wins the serve and pass battle is set up for a success. It is really motivating. And I think the group of girls that we have at the same time, like our mind says, let's go out and have fun. Like let's win together. And I think that that's very rare that you have that. I think sometimes you have a bunch of individuals that are like, oh, I want to win, I want to win, I want the victory. But I think the group of girls that we have right now are just like, we keep telling each other, like, I want to win for you. And we just have such a tight knit group. It's going to be so much fun. And I think that's motivating alone. Yeah. Um, it's it's going to be a little bit different just because we've played a bunch of Friday, Sunday matches. But I think, I, I don't know, I think the adrenaline at that point is just kind of like we want to play. So playing back to back shouldn't be a problem. Kenzie, we know you love playing at home, but can you anticipate what the atmosphere is going to be? Well, I mean, the fans know what's at stake. So what's that environment going to be? 
Yeah. Oh, it's, it's going to be crazy. I love, like you said, I love playing at home. Everyone's always like, there's 8,000 people there. Like, are you nervous? I'm like, no. Like, I, like, it just feels like every single person there is rooting for us. And it's like a huge family. And at this point, I'm like desensitized. Like, when I don't have them there, I'm like, what's going on? Like, why, why, where's my family? So I think it's going to be huge. I think we're all going to be super excited. Mm, good question. I feel like it changes based on the year. Like freshman year, I would have answered like going to Japan and China. Our international trip was so much fun. And sophomore year, I would, I would say the seniors, like they were awesome. They led me so much. And the past couple years, I would say the relationships that I've built, I can't think of just one memory, but the group of girls that we have is something that's really special. And like I said before, like I love volleyball, but I love my people even more. And I think that's what makes volleyball so special. I have. I won't be returning. Yeah. Was that a difficult decision to go through that was option, option? Yeah. Back? Yeah, absolutely. It was it was a tough decision, but I met with coach multiple times about it and I have absolutely loved this program. It's like a family to me and it's so hard saying goodbye to it, but I just think that after four and a half years, I think that the time has come where it's like you know, like me and Maddie, have, we got here together and we're going to leave together. And kind of what Maddie said, too, just like passing the baton off a little bit. I think that we have so many players that are coming in and so many underclassmen right now that are in a position to lead and they deserve that. And yeah, so I'm, I'm really excited for after this. But Did that game help you? Like, knowing this is your last go around, not like supposed to be this great decision. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Like every game that I go into or honestly every ball that I touch, I'm just like there's no point to regret anything. So I'm just going to go out there and leave it all out there. Yeah, I would just say being aggressive is something that we talked about with passing against them because they they do have really good servers and we know exactly what they're going to do. So it's honestly just the mentality of going in there and doing it and being aggressive with what we're doing. Final question for Kim. You get a, you get a toss with one of those little balls up. Have you thought about where you're going to throw it yet? <laughs> <laughs> I honestly think about it when I do have a ball. I think about it almost every time. I kind of like look around the court and I'm like, there's like a bunch of little girls standing there and it's super sweet. So I, I try to like mix it up.